it's Sir Godwinson live. News alert. Welcome to Godwinson's Kino Casino, and all we do is give back. You, sir, keep your money in your pocket. It is not welcome here. This casino gives out only freebies. We do not need your money. We do not need extensive hours of your time unless it's a very special occasion. This might actually be a very special occasion once again. Because in addition to our regular programming, folks, where there's a whole agenda to get through. I mean, I can scarcely believe the fucking agenda that I've got on the slate right now. Number one, tour only. Number two, the return of the Chatelet Strangler. Number three, Elaine suing PayPal. Number four, Shaggy and Surfer going at it. And hopefully number five will be the grand finale, a Kino drone. The return of the Kino drone. Godwinson's Kino drone. As they battle it out and finally decide who is the victor in this great Spurg War of our times. Not only that, but that we've had to leave stuff off today's agenda. Such as, skeptics, where are they now? With Brian Dunn, as he talks about his intricate personal history with every single one of them. As he screams into the microphone and say they didn't send me their outlines. But this one did, and gets into all of the personal histories. We've had to leave that off, because what's happening today is just so wild. It's a shaggy dog story, this one. And that's why Angie here is going at it. It has never been this good in the sector, folks. You better fucking believe it. It has never been this fertile. They told me once upon a time that it was all over. They even tried to tell me that all that was left were the rats in the sewer turning on each other. Well. Whilst that may indeed be true, the spectacle of the rats eating each other alive is a far greater one than I cared to even speculate. Dare to dream, ladies and gentlemen, dare to dream. We're all rats, folks. We're all Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here. Some of us have a little clan of turtles to do our operations for us. Some of us are just your basic bitch sewer rat feeding on feces. And that's right, you all know my name. Because the king is here to claim his throne. Crown? Throne. Throne and crown. It's coronation time. God save the... We are in a Carolean age, folks. I have never felt more patriotic in this moment than I do right now. I, I, uh, today's going to be my anointment. Consider yourselves worthy. Rats in the sewer to witness the anointment of the king tonight. So, I do have everything lined up that I need to, to do. And just out of sight that you can't see is some boxed wine. And you'll suspicious, suspiciously see that this sniff that I no longer have will come back. You'll start seeing me do this. But I'll just be over there snorting some boxed wine, Worski style. I won't do the full Worski and kill my kid, but we'll snort some boxed wine in honour of the anointing. So, as soon as this advert for Fast X finishes playing, apparently it's Fast X, but it looks exactly the same as all of the other movies. They've got Aquaman in it. So, when last we left off, ladies and gentlemen, it was a tough time, a very tough time, you might say, for one particular person. That particular person, that particular... 
Good Lord. That particular person, folks, say it with me, was shivering to death in the Siberian wilderness. He'd realized the one-man apocalypse that not only was his website and therefore troll shield gone, not only were the troons drinking his blood, not only were his peppers all dead and we were all fucking his mum, not only were all of those things happening, but also he knew that it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time before he had suffered the same fate that poor Lil Gonzalo suffered. What colour will your toilet be, Jush? I'm imagining red. Deepest red. What colour will your toilet be, Jush? But as he struggled with the reality of how it's all just come tumbling a down, the sky has fallen, and all he has left to hold is his broken penis. He strived. He worked the truths into a rally. And he finally, somehow, in some bizarre twist of fate, managed to get the site back up. Now, whilst we not, might not be able to see it, whilst no one can actually see the site, it's back up. It's back up, folks. It's back up. Say it with me. Tour only. Tour only. It might as well just be completely fucking dead at this point. Tour only, folks. Tour only. That's the t It's back up. <laughs> Where? Where is it back up, Bri? It's tour only. It's tour only. It's back up? Yeah. I guess. Somewhere. Somewhere it's back up in the void. It's there. Somewhere. Josh is... Still got his troll shield somewhere. It's on... It's on tour only. Bear with me. Because we'll unpack all of this. We'll talk about next steps and we'll just deliver some really great Kino Casino tonight. I just love this solo too much. As the king in his counting house wondered what his next steps were, as he looked around and saw nothing but Troon's misery and hostings of CP all over his website, he thought, how can I get this back? And when the victory conditions are literally tour only, you know it's fucking tough. Super tough. Super rough, you might say. Will it be a uh, Joshua Connor Troon arc? I wouldn't be surprised by the end of this year, Joshua Connor Troon. I mean, how can this man disappoint his mother even further than he already has? Just do it, Josh. Troon out. Join the statistic. Do it. Join the statistic once you transition as well, my friend. Do us all a big fucking favour. Make a capstone to that magnificent internet legacy that you have somehow cultivated. Do us all a favour. So I'm going to get into this. Hallowed be thy juice. We've played you in. And we have several things of which to unpack on this one. Uh, the one man apocalypse himself. So, I'm, I'm running 10 seconds behind schedule. Ahead of schedule. So what I need to do is this, 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 and line up this. This. Every, everything has an advert, so you'll have to bear with me. It's fucking tough, but I hope you all appreciate the lengths we go to, the stubbornness that we go to,
We could easily install ad block, but for some reason, we just forget to every single show. We just forget to do it, even though we know it would make the life easier. But here we go. So we are in town. We're dancing in the moonlight as we pirouette and piss all over Juice Moon's grave. So he's back. These screenshots come to you from tour only, folks. You're only able to access the fight via Dot Onion, which is tour. Juice says, are you people fucking retarded? Looks like you're seething at the internet there, buddy. We're fucking, we're fucking retarded. No. No, we're not. Not everyone has tour only, Juice. Some of us aren't pedophiles. Some of us just like to use the internet at the point of access. Some of us don't contrive several VPNs of which to post on tour. But Juice says, Who fucking retarded? Follow the fucking telegram. Uh, how about I don't follow the fucking telegram, Juice? How about I keep my mobile number in my pocket? How about I don't give you my mobile number to telegram to follow you on it? How about I don't do that? Follow the fucking telegram. Holy shit. I'm sorry they're disabled previews, but Elon Musk won't ban my... <laughs> But Elon Musk won't unban my Twitter account, and I don't know what else to use. How about you use a gun, Josh, and do a flip? How about you get into your car and drive into the Brit Wall? How about you use those tools at your disposal, my friend? I don't know what else to use. Most images won't load, but the site is still functioning. Um, I'd say that the site is no longer functioning when pretty much most of the site is comprised of fucking images, bro. Most of the <laughs> The images weren't low, but the site is somehow on life support. Glad it's back up. Glad it's back up. Thanks for dealing with the tyrannical troons for us, Noel. Yes, Noel. Thanks for dealing with those tyrannical troons for us. Thank you. Thanks for dealing with the tyrannical troons so that we, your Kiwi farm staff, your moderation team can be key tyrannical troons as well. Thanks, Jush. Big favor. Jush says something autistic, no surprise. Because Zenforo insists, and he's asterisk that, on trying to make things hate to something autistic. Every fucking thing I throw at it, is it? It would be easier if I can just find a way to make the site HTTP has a tool. And that's the user base that's left on the farms, bros. That's the user base. There was a time when he'd post. Back when the site was up. Back when he was king of Troon Martin. When the sewer was his. And that shield was firmly in his hands. Where posts like this would have about, what, a hundred troons? Well, we can, count the, we can count the users now. We've got one. This one's literally called Shameful Existence, which is about as true as any statement I've ever read. P. Cola. And uh, Rockin' De Worm. So I count... Literally on one ha on one hand, if we include Jush himself, five. It's a fistful of users on the farms, folks. Just whilst we uh, pontificate on on that one, just as we take that one in, and we we wonder. Surely not. It's literally five users, including Juice himself. Let's let the tranny dab on his grave. You are lost. You are lost. Can't see it any longer, huh? You are lost. Good night, everyone. I'm gonna keep Can't playing this, because huh? I know every time the troon goes, you all lost. Juice puts another bullet in the chamber and just puts it to his head. And he goes.
You know what, Jush? Maybe it's time. Pull the trigger. Be a hero. Five. Count them. Five. But we're not even we're not even halfway through. <laughs> because folks. It continues. It continues. So if you don't know, you should know. Jush is blaming the fact that his whole livelihood, his whole life, his whole troll shield has completely been blasted to smithereens. He's blaming it on some troon called Liz Fong Jones. Or Liz Fong Jones. Or, I mean, it could be anyone, really. But it's Liz Von Jones is whom he's blaming it on. And th this, is the, this, this is the kill claim. So, Liz Von Jones says, hmm, that's not quite correct. Instead of a timeout... I get a connection refused. Might be a precursor. Josh is getting the site back online. But we're not going to let that happen, the tranny says, because she's tagging other troons and saying, what's up? Can we just take it down even more? Can we just destroy it even further? Can we even make it so it's not only... It's not, it'll never be even tour only. So that Liz Fong Jones is... is not satisfied until Josh does pull that trigger. Anyone else would sort of be like, okay, it's dead, it's finished. It literally has five users, folks. <laughs> it has five fucking users, it's dead. It is over. It is in the ground. It's skeletonized just like Daddy Jim. But Liz Von jo Jackie Chan ain't gonna stop. Lucy Liu, Jackie Chan, Kim Park just ain't gonna stop. And you know what? If they're not gonna stop, nor are we. Nor are we, folks, because it continues. Because if you don't know, <laughs> you should know. Juice is trying to get Andrew Torber to take him on. Andrew Torber. He's trying to do a coalition server. With a little Andy Torber there. Like, the owner of Gab. Andy Torber. The owner of Gab, who Juice, by the way, has literally been like... He's been trying to A-log Andrew Torber and Gab to death because it's been legitimate competition to the Kiwi Fox. So he's gonna... He's so desperate. He's trying to do Autistic Avengers with Andrew Torber of Gab Vane. The one man apocalypse. What happened, bro? Gab. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. The one man apocalypse. Trying to suck the balls of Andrew Torber. What happened to it being a fed honeypot, Juice? What happened to I'll never go on? Gab. Gab's hosted by a pedophile called Andrew Torber. I'll never do that. By ballot or bullet, they'll take the Kiwi farms. They'll put the Kiwi farm from my cold, dead hands. What happened to that one, Juice? The one man apocalypse. That's right. It is, isn't it? It is. I've never known it to be more the case than it is. It is juice. It's game over. Game over. K.O. Fatality. But maybe if we go to his telegram, we'll know what's going on. On the world famous telegram. We'll have our, we'll have our update from the king on the mountain. Maybe we will, folks, on the world-famous Telegram. It's the world-famous Telegram.
The world famous Telegram, folks. We're literally New Hull Pipe, for real. We're on the Telegram. Let's preview the channel because we don't have. Um, uh, this is an announcements coordination during dine time. We'll preview the channel because we don't want to give them our mobile phone number. If you don't, if you. Game over, folks. <laughs> Game over. Juice says, Previews have been disabled by Telegram. Sorry. is not everything on today's show. It's the end of the Josh segment. It's the end of the Juice segment. But I imagine it's going to be fertile ground in further subsequent episodes. It is not actually um, the end of the show. Not even slightly. Because we have the return of the Chatelet Strangler, ladies and gentlemen. Turn of the Chatelet Strangler. So for this, I need this. I need this. I need this, that, this, this, that. Okay. If all goes to plan, this will be fucking amazing. But I need, that's what I need. So. Look at what look at what it's trying to advertise me now. It's tough. It's fucking tough. So Right. So if you don't know, you should know. A man somewhere in America killed 15 people a few days ago. 15 people executed by this fuck. And, and I don't know if it's a psyop. I don't know if it really is as bad as it is. But the killer, the killer, was a fully paid, signed up, Groiper. He wanted to blow Nick's peen. He wanted to wear the skin. Was he on Cozy? Well, we'll investigate. We'll investigate. This is breaking news. Um, and I... Uh, we'll make our conclusions after the end of the segment. But it, it truly is another realm that we have found ourselves in. So, I need this, I need that, I need this, 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 and that. So, okay. Consent. There we go. That, there we go. Hispanic Texas shooter. Scouted outlet mall for weeks. Had Nazi tattoos. He killed eight innocent shoppers and wounded several more. He's a sick, evil fuck. This is what he was holding and this is what he was doing. He had this on his chest. Investigators and journalists and Godwinsons have been poring over Garcia's social media posts and finding that the Hispanic man had embraced Nazi, embraced Nazi themes. Now, what other Hispanic man do we know that it's embraced Nazi themes? 
influencers. To the extent of adorning his body with swastika and SS tattoos, and he also lashed out at Elaine's as well. This is described as a self-portrait to Russian social networking site OK.ru. In one of his posts, he argued that Latinos are white people. Extra fucking doubt. Latinos are white people. Last month, offering as an example Nick Fuentes, who was half, who has a half Mexican father. He says, I think I even read in the news Hispanics could be the new white supremists. Your mind on Nick Fuentes, ladies and gentlemen. Holy fucking coke, Batman. Just the other day, this black dude told me the line is blurring. He can't tell the difference anymore. Someone would look white, but they're actually Hispanic. The Hispanics are the new whites. They're the new white supremacists. I mean, can we just take a moment? Can we just take a moment, folks? It's the new white. They shall inherit the earth. It's the new white, folks. It's your mind on Nick Fuentes. Where Speedy Gonzalez is the new Hitler. But it doesn't just end there, because it continues. For weeks. Leading up to his attack, he posted dozens of photos as well as screenshots and Google data of where he was going to shoot up. On the day of his murder spree, he uploaded a video to the Kino Casino's Gumroad showing him removing a screen mask and asking, not quite what you were expecting, huh? In other posts, he reportedly praised Andy Worski killing his child and praised the female-to-male trans nutjob who killed six people at a Christian school in Natchville. He wrote approvingly of PPP and Adolf Hitler. He said he was originally from Mexico. He described mass shootings as a sport. He flew to Canada to be spit-roasted by Andy Worski and PPP at Ram Ranch. He posted receipts indicating that he spent over $3,200 on the trip and on various Chinese meals that were succulently being fed to PPP in June. He shared a photo of a tactical vest with a right-wing death squad patch. This was posted before the shooting. He spewed anger towards Elaine on the Kiwi farms in a manner consistent with what is now found in Jush Moon discussions. He also applauded the 2014 murder spree by an incel. That incel is known... That incel is known as Toad McJudas, ladies and gentlemen. He also said that Jews had engineered society so that men can't mate with a woman. Apparently, no one's, no one's getting any poo tank anymore. Men ain't mating with women anymore, apparently. Um, this might be quite revealing. According to the US Army, he was enlisted in June 2008, but he was ejected after three months due to mental fucking illness. He'd been living in an extended stay hotel, PPP style, the address of which was on his driver's license. That's fucking tough. In his room, authorities found ammunition, a holstered knife and handcuffs, green shit in the toilet and several SIM cards, and they found a burner phone with some CGI kids on it, as well as several handwritten notes. In one of his last social media posts, 
He said, join or die. Follow me on Telegram. I'm joining Andrew Torber on Gab.ai. And the Kiwi Farms is back, but it's on tour only. It was beyond the point where a psychologist could even help the poor bastard. I can't show that because it's something dead. But meanwhile, in a surprise move on Monday, he donated his whole life savings to the Kino Casino. Specifically, he wanted to watch Andy Worski and PPP watch interracial black porn at Christmas. In between episodes of 90 Day Fiancé and 30 Day Survivor. The May 22 massacre at Robb Elementary School in... Uvalad? Texas was perpetrated by an 80... whatever. And that's the end of it. So, um... We're asking questions. Seems like a bit of a psyop to me. But it's the return of the Chatelet Strangler. If you don't remember what the Chatelet Strangler was, I'm going to just refresh you and remember it so you don't have to, folks. Uh, and we'll just recall the Chatelet Strangler, whom, upon Carl Benjamin Sargon of Akkad's orders, just destroyed and executed his own mum with his cold bare hands. So bear with me as I bring you back the Chatelet Strangler, how, how Sargon did it. There he is. It's a murder case shocking America. A 15-year-old confesses to strangling his mom over a bad grave. It's the dawn of a new age, fellow shitlords. And now, On this momentous occasion, we're in 2023, and it's the Groyper Killer. The Doing it in the, the name of the Chatelet Strangler. Of Populated with our fellow ethnic shitlords, energized with the greatest culture mankind has ever known, Kekistan will prevail. We go forth with the song of resistance in our hearts. All hail Kekistan! Praise Kek! We... Re indeed. Re indeed. The Chandelier Strangler on Sargon's behest, but don't take my word for it. Many of the children who may attempt to disobey Sargon's orders. While Sargon may be a powerful leader and a master manipulator, he is just one man. One very short, very fat man. He heads up all the activities taking place in Europe, but he has two underlings, cardinals of sorts, who handle all of the recruitment and- Meth holiday cameo, we'll save that for the skeptics, where are they now? Remember this faggot? Remember when he was around? King of the Sector? Remember that fag? Crying over his silver play button and a copy past a letter Susan sent him. Flagging down anything that came his way. Remember that faggot? Well, I'll let you in on something. Even that faggot never fell as far as his eight locks. For real. I mean, PPP, this man drinks your blood. Andy Worski, this man drinks your blood. Meth holiday. Looking on as unhinged as ever. But, but, the show isn't even over. We have yet more to get through. So, And they say that a hero can save us. I'm not going to stand here and wait. Because this portion of today's show is brought to you by a guest writer. You know, um, this guy's been in the writer's room the whole time. But a lot of his scripts haven't been quite cutting the mustard. So, tonight, one of his scripts... It's a writer's strike, so I assume we have to now fucking take any old shit. But I imagine that this script that our guest writer has chipped in tonight will be one of regular submissions where it just hits the fucking mark. So our guest writer, uh, he's been in the writer's room the whole fucking time, but sometimes it's quite tough to understand what the fuck the schizophrenic's saying. But this one's for you. My Cliff. So My Cliff writes 
I mean, a lo I mean, this is lit. This is this is this is him in a one-man conversation with himself. Just always and forever, never-ending submissions. It never ends. But on one of his most recent submissions, he he wrote a, he wrote a pretty good script, which we're gonna deliver right now. So my cliff. Swans for you. You're not gonna be dancing on your own anymore, bro. Come, let's do a waltz. Let's get your stance and shoes on, Cliff. Let's go. Cliff says, my king, because that's how he addresses me. My king, my king, my king, my king, my king. My king. Cliff says, my king. Uh, I mean, Shaggy keeps bringing the Kino. He started a new stream. He streamed like four times in the last four hours. We'll get into all of it, by the way. It's prefaced. On the stream, Shaggy was leaking DMs between him and Surfer, which we'll get into. And now this comes straight from the Council of Evil Discord DM group. Remember, Shaggy used to take care of troubled youths. Cliff's highlighted this one for us. And this one's tough. So, trigger warning. Shaggy says, This kid took one little cut of this shit, and we had to hospitalize him. This shit was premium quality hallucinogenics. We'll unpack all of this in a moment, but Cliff continues. He says, my king, when you said that they were finally free from the Norwegian pedophile's influence, you are missing the point. The reason why some of them are partially, and he's asterisk this, disavowed at Axel is not because he's a pedophile or any other sorts of degenerate shit. It was because he was mean to Gahul in a VR furry chat. Because he was mean to Gahul in a VR furry chat. That is so, that lie is so autistic, I think I've just lost half of my fucking brain. I didn't even need the bullet, juice style. It was because he banned some bitch from his server from whom Dymo was simping for. And it was because Axel got angry at Surfer because he was backing some other autist that goes by Warhammer instead of Shaggy. Kind of the current arc, but with Euros instead. The reason why each one of them devoured Axel, if anything, Dymo has said that he loves Axel's server because of all the freedom in there. No moderation until Axel bans some bitch Demo simps for. Axel is a pedophile, yes, but none of these guys have disavowed him for that. In fact, they will back him up when that accusation is brought up. As you might know, be noticing, welcome to the bottom of the barrel of the sector. Thanks, my king. <laughs> I'm gonna gild your script. Because what I do with the scripts, I bring a bit of flair and a bit of panache and I gild them up. I gild them up, Cliff. So I'm gonna gild it up with a bit of Godmundson, Kino Dogma 2007. Uh, I'll, I'll gild it up. I'll gild it up. So, you say there that they liked the server. Where, where, where are you saying this? They love, Daimo has said that he loves Axel's server because of all of the freedom in there. Shall we look at the freedom of Axel's server? This is the freedom of Axel's server. Okay. 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 And this is brought to you by Brian. So take that as it may be. But that's the freedom that Axel's server allows you all to to have. Um, this is the freedom of Axel's server. DJ Axel drunkenly flirts with minors on camera. Deleted stream. Oh, how old are you? Well, who is a pedophile? Who is a pedophile? Well, we actually have a Discord tag of a pedophile. Good. All right, I'm gonna give it to Who you. Who are they? Thomas, uh, how old are you? Are you under the age of 18? 
think we guess. Alright, so I sent you a package. That is a pedophile. Thomas, are you under the age of 18 or are you oh, a female? Hey, hold on, yo. Oh, look at those lips. Oh. I mean, oh, if you're a pedophile, yeah, Mickey, I hate Mickey. you. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah, Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's a pedophile, too. Yeah, he sucked off a five-year-old dead-ass. We were... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we literally exposed him on Discord. We found him that he sucked off a pedophile. All right, look, all right um, uh, Mickey Mouse, look at private chat. What are you vaping? Children's cum? Is that what we have come to as a society? Yeah, I'm vaping. Hold on. Um, Child cum. Child semen cum. Okay, we've had enough. What? We've had enough. Um, but there's that. Don't know how that's... That, how we can explain that one. Don't, don't know how that one swept under the rug. Um, like, genuinely, that's, that's one of the most fucked up things I think I've ever heard, quite frankly. Um... But it's now time where we all wake up and we take a look at what's been happening with Shaggy. What's going on there? And the best way of doing that is by looking at Shaggy's community tab and understanding what the fuck's going on in the sewer sewer. The sewer sewer. So, Brian Dunn, King of Pulse Strikes Again, confirms it was indeed Surfer going around showing everyone those super incriminating leaks, in which I confirm fake rape and not real rape. I claim I do not care if A-Logs call me gay. I claim I do not care if A-Logs believe me to gay. Dildo joke. I spoke to the children I was assigned to work slash live with. Not only did he speak to the children he was assigned to work slash live with. He also had an ass load of premium quality hallucinogenics. Maybe if there is a Z celeb we know nearby or A later, but no. This kid took one little cut of this shit and we had to hospitalize him. He was sweating bullets and slamming his head into the wall. So I mean, a bad trip on this shit is a very, very bad trip. Also, he was a big dude too, so no way in hell am I taking it. We'll show it on my channel though. That leak came from Cliff, not Bry. That's how I received that leak. Um, but we'll continue. Great job, Surfer. Super Gay Ops for the win, buddy. Be sure to... Uh, right. Surfer is in hiding. I mean, I get it. This is about the worst look there is. Absolute snake status. I don't understand why you harbour such a deep hatred for me, bro. But as a true disciple of Christ, I forgive your trespasses and sins against me. Be sure to ask Drunken Surfer about the Kino time he tortured a rabbit to death. Tortured a rabbit to death by crushing it with a tire and ripping its tail off. Like I thought it would grow back, guys. What a chat. Surfer bravely defending his lady love, Euros, from the villainous Mormon Shaggy. Seriously, the shit you pulled was fucked. Absolute bitch move. Not the sort of thing I would forgive. And I know this from experience. You cannot be an A-Log and a friend at the same time. Those two are mutually fucking exclusive. Why are you doxing Euros on your YouTube post? Because he's a faggot. So does Shaggy dox Euros on the YouTube post? I mean, he's posting screen caps from that. Where's Euros being doxed on the post? 
Fuck it. Um, instead of scrolling through Shanky's po community post to find out the docs of Euros, what I want you to do, ladies and gentlemen, neat samurai, is to post his full name and address in this YouTube channel comment section. Nay, even DM me on Twitter and I'll retweet every single one of those retweets. It's on you, ladies and gentlemen. It's for you to do. And we'll continue. So where we last left off, Surfer had killed a rabbit and... Cause you was a, cause he's a faggot, that's why I doxed Euros. What's his name? What's Euros' name? Can someone just give me Euros' name in the chat and I'll read it? Someone, please. Anyone. John Mavronis. Mavronis? Mavronis. John Mavronis. Mavronis. John. John. John Macro. Have you got your macro card, buddy? Um, the guy's not even making content on YouTube anymore, so why are you doxing John? I don't give a free day old fuck. So you just decided on a whim to dox him? Yeah. John's being spared no mercy. A few final screenshots of Surfer defending his beloved John, as well as a picture of the woman himself. So I imagine we're gonna see a picture of John somewhere. I mean, I don't see it, but apparently there's a picture here as well of John. You shouldn't wish these things upon people, Shaggy. Yes, I should. God doesn't love these people, he hates them. You should change your name to Muslim Shaggy then, bro. <laughs> your A-logs would lose their minds. Um, right. I'm not seeing a picture of John. Am I? Oh, I'm seeing a picture of John. All I had to do was hit the arrow key. You ready for the picture of John? There he is. For your consideration. John... John, no. What are you doing there, buddy? The Kino Corner. Carry him home, folks. It seems like the winning is endless. Uh, so, I mean, it, it just goes on and on and on. Um, this one's tagged like a bitch. Grant from Alcatraz comic was to paint you as a gay shaggy, not as a pedophile. I never actually read it, he says. Surfer says, Euros wanted me to send it to Adam, which is me, but I wouldn't get upset about it. I thought it was funny. Also, I was never in the rape van server. That would be a lie. It doesn't really bother me. Say what you want. It's all fun and games, bro. Hey. The fun and games you faggots are playing involve calling people's work. It's not all fun and games, it's largely sadism and blackmail, from what I've seen of your friends. This was all... This was all... The match on the touch paper was all because of this? It's all because this was said to me the other night. Shaggy inviting Surfer to get in the rape van. And Surfer saying, I don't think I'll be getting in the rape van, Shaggy. And leaking very personal DMs like... Well, so long as there's a person who touches them as 16, I guess it's okay. Um... This, Big Up Cliff, and uh, I think that's it. I think that's what caused it, to be honest with you. I think that was literally it.
That, I mean, that literally was it, I think. Something about the Dymo watching Kubrick's Lolita. Apparently, Dymo watching Kubrick's Lolita makes him a pedophile. A GoFundMe for Mormon Shaggy. Um, Shaggy saying, how does one fuck a child ironically? Yes, I crave dragon dick. So all confidence were betrayed. I mean, that is it. That's what sparked it. I'm looking for anything that would have sparked it even further, but... I mean, that was it. That was it. So, um, <clears throat> we're continuing with Cliff's script. He wants us to watch this and do our comment upon it. And also, this is Gahul commenting on the VR furry chat incident, as well as more Council of Evil leaks. Um, but, well, I mean, Gahul goes off. So, right, we'll, we'll power through. This one's titled Another Gay Breakup. It's the samurai. Things have been slow, haven't they? Now this is going to be really gay. I don't like the break. Sorry, I need to, because uh, he talks very slowly. So we will just do this and change the talkback speed to times two. So now it's at normal speed. I come from live from the bathroom, and I'm going to do the retard voice to make it slightly more palatable. But it's been slow, so hopefully this will be able to entertain you. I, I mean, on, just on the record, I personally, I g genuinely, I personally don't think that any of them are pedophiles apart from the literal Norwegian pedophile. I don't think Shaggy's a pedo. I don't think Gahul's a pedo. I don't think Brian's a pedo. I don't think Ch Surf is a pedo. I don't think Cliff's a pedo. I literally think that the Norwegian pedophile is a pedo. So that's my clarification. But I'm happy... Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy for you to keep sending through more and more screenshots of them doing sus behaviour that I can then present for the public record. I'm happy for you to keep sending in those submissions. That, that, that's as fair as I can get. Me and my ex-boyfriend, DJ Axel, who got into a bit of a tip on the live stream. Because I left DJ Axel's Discord server because I disagreed with the moderation decision. That's right. I liked DJ Axel's Discord server. He liked DJ Askel. <laughs> he liked DJ Axel's Discord server, and he left because he disagreed with the moderation that was going on. Now, this is his server. This is DJ Axel's Discord server, and I can only really see. Well, I can see a whole few things that probably need to be moderated, but that's something that I assume would need to be moderated. And I wouldn't be disagreeing if that was moderated. Literally, by moderated, I mean completely just shut down. Shut down this whole thing. This fucking depraved, crazy shit. Um, but he left because... And we'll play it at normal speed, because I think he's talking quite fast now. Come on! Now, no, I don't think, like, genuinely, I don't think Dymo is a pedophile. And I'll show you why I don't think Dymo's a pedophile. I don't think Dymo's a pedophile because he's married. He's a married man. He is, um... He's a married man. He, uh, somehow 
managed to find someone in this life to bond with. Till death do they part. Till the forces of mortality break their bonds. So, I don't think he is a pedophile, and I'll show you why in just a second. I think the people he hangs around with, that Norwegian pedophile, is a pedophile. But I don't necessarily think that Daimo is a straight-up pedophile. In the same way, I don't think the Hall is a pedophile. Um, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. Happy, at this point in time, to have the full details revealed to me of what these people do in the dark. Because it all seems very fucking sus to me. I mean, I don't know how you justify statements like, I left because it was being moderated and it was such a good freedom place to, uh, to have engagement. And we have to thank... I mean, these are your friends. We have to thank Gahul for this one. That's Daimo's wife. And I think she's a good 10 years older than him, so I don't think he's a pedophile. Jesus was a refugee. So that's Daimo's wife, this one, not that. That's Daimo's wife, and I don't think she looks underage, folks. Thanks, Gahul. Thanks, Gahul, for sending that one in, bro. Daimo's wife. They're all the best of friends. No, 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 we're the best one in the world. She is not underage. Looks like his mom. But... So no, uh, I don't think Dymo's a pedophile. But I'm happy to be proven wrong. Let's continue. Looks like his dad. You Fuck. Can host things. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, she. I definitely think she could deadlift me as well. Um, and thanks, Perspicacity, because Perspicacity's chiming in and saying, back in the day, when he was grooming Dymo on Discord and Twitter as the next apprentice for PPP, uh, back in the day, him and Dymo would have calls. All confidences are being portrayed tonight. <laughs> All cut snaking everywhere. I want snake emojis just litter in this chat right now, please. That's all I ask. Because Persip says, back in the day, I used to call Dymo. And Dymo and his wife would tell me their stories whilst Dymo was in the car. They told me how they met. They told me how they were engaged and getting married. Persip says, I knew at one point in time I would just completely betray all of those confidences on a stream like this. So. Will Persip release the DMs? Will you release the DMs, Persip? That's all I ask. I hadn't even realised that you were having extensive calls with the man and his family and his wife-to-be. But, alas... I think Jesus was a refugee, wasn't he? Uh, but it continues. I'll just get rid of a few of these tabs. It continues. <clears throat> I hope we're not having this cold come back. That's the last thing I want. It continues. Big up for Elaine waking up at literally 7 p.m. at night. DJ Axel in his drunken stupor is trying to say that I'm sipping for this person because I have mommy issues. Does now does Dymo have mommy issues, ladies and gentlemen? We'll decide. This is his wife. Does Dymo have mommy issues? You decide. You decide. <laughs> I mean, to do. I just left it. Is it for gonna be 
be censoring people, then it's not exactly going to be a fun time in the Discord server. This sort of behavior isn't new to DJ Axolute. He's lovey-dovey when you're doing things that he likes, and he freaks the fuck out when you do things that he doesn't like. Okay, right. So that's explaining their gay breakup. Um, so it wasn't over any ethical stance of paedophilia is what Cliff's trying to say. It was purely because moderation was happening in the Discord. So, um, but, but sorry, I just need to get my, my song up. This. Um. And this was Gahul's video on the pedophile. The following footage is unedited, but will only have a slight musical accompaniment for entertainment effect. Where the fuck is it, Gahul? So, what this is, is the VR that Gahul and the Norwegian pedophile were in that caused their breakup. It's... War has changed. The snakening now occurs via VR. What, what about us? What about us? How do we even attempt to understand this shit? So, from what I understand, the two people that currently at, who most want to drink each other's blood in the sector right now are Shaggy and Surfer. So what I want to do is literally host a Kinodrome like right now, where both are invited. Both are invited to call in, and they will have their ability to settle the score. To sit at the table and fully conclude as to whether or not the other person is a snake pedophile. And there's no fairer place than this, because I won't be muting anyone, and anyone who's got any evidence to show will have it presented on screen. Whether it be that person's wife, whether it be that person being a pedophile, whether it be that person doing anything illicit that's been screen captured six years ago when you were all friends. So, it will all be allowed to be. It will all be allowed to take place and play. No one will be kicked. No one will be banned. No one will be swept for. This is completely a neutral platform because I could give two shits about either of you, to be honest. Frankly, I want to hear more about how he killed a rabbit, and I want to hear more about how he. <laughs> Who's this John guy wearing his mom's clothing? So. Let's, let's, uh, I mean, we can go into the call-ins now, if you like, uh, or I do have something else that I wanted to just do, and it's the, uh, it's this, but bear with me. Where is it? <laughs> okay. I'm glad Elaine's woken up for this, because, uh, unfortunately... This was actually going to be like the beginning of the show, but we just pushed it down the agenda as shit was kicking off. So it's the Arbitrary Elaine segment, folks. Um, please tune out now. Please leave now if you don't want to hear some crazy ass shit. But it's the Arbitrary Elaine segment where we do this and that, and hopefully... Okay. Where's my, uh, I don't even have a phone stand today. So what I needed to do is join me. Now, I, uh, I never, ever, ever call for a personal army. 
That's nothing I've never ever done. I've never called for a personal army and I never will. I don't need a personal army, I'm a one-man army. I would never do so. And when we fight this fight in our own terms, I would never sing a song to literally rally unique samurai up into an autistic frenzy to drink the Kiwi Farm's blood and bring Josh's head to my table. I'd never do that. I would never ever call an army up. Here they lie. They're gone but not forgotten. Not forgotten. All those clans from long ago. All the clans from days long ago. In this ground, they rest all together. Why they fought and died. Why they fought and died. Shall, shall all come to know. Born with the right. Born with the right to carry the sword of our fathers. Fell with their brothers. And ours there below. They may raise our cities. They may burn the land. We may die in thousands. They will understand. We will surrender. Not one boy or man. Come. Take the sword of the Highlands from Fight for your right to be free, never be owned. It's a rallying call, ladies and gentlemen, because Elaine's going to sue PayPal. She says, I'm going to sue PayPal, as well as banning me for no reason a few years ago, when I finally got approved, they decided to extract hundreds of pounds out of my account without my consent. No joke. This money has returned to PayPal. <laughs> my money. I'm not paying them out of principle. may raise our cities. They may burn the land. We may die in thousands, but PayPal will understand. She will not surrender. Not one boy or man. She doesn't owe them any money. Carry the fight on for me. The old sons of the Highlands. Fight for your right to be free. Never be owned. I don't owe them any money. They took my money from me. I could easily repay them, but why should I when they are happy to literally break the law? They sent me this email two weeks ago after the money was placed in the account so I didn't even have chance to prepare. I am extra angry because this is after being banned for two years for essentially no reason. The NBL line, they are also disputing PayPal's actions for no reason. Pay me out of principle too. But what I will pay, what I will pay PayPal, what I will pay is for a lawyer. Fight for your right to be free. Never be owned. 
So she can't withdraw the simp funds anymore. Come, take the sword of the Highlands from my cold, dead hands. All right, let's go to call-ins. That's the Elaine segment. So uh, call-ins, and as I say, the line is open for Surfer and Shaggy to have it out and call in. And if they don't call in, then <laughs> someone says, is she mental? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's, someone, someone earnestly asks, is she mental? Um, <laughs> let's go to the call-ins, folks. So, um, and also, if they don't call in, then I want the A-logs of both of those people to call in and do it for them. You know, uh, blood, blood drinking shall not let. So, we've got, got three, two, one... Persip's got his pants off. He's fantasizing the, about the day that Teddy Feeter goes to Hollywood and becomes a star. Comes a star of Persip's blue movies that he's going to be watching at 2 p.m. 2 a.m. and 2 p.m., let's face it. Let's face it, Persip's doing wanking in the afternoon. It's tough. So as call-ins, it's call-in time. Uh, I'll just get the number you all need to call. So this is what you need to call, ladies and gentlemen. The lines are open. The floor is yours. The set to speaks tonight. Persip's leading the conga line. So it's time for you to call in, Speds and Spurgs of this sector. Rats of the sewer, the floor is yours. The floor is literally yours, folks. And can we not, can we not have this again, please? Can we not have something like this occur again, please? I might add it. I don't really know how to use Discord. This is Peaches, she's my cat. Can we not have a repeat of that? Just bear with me, Grey Mist. You're, you're on, you'll be on the air in just a second. Just seen your tweets. My wife loved it. Kitty, creative I know, has a moustache. All right, let's go to our first caller. You're on the air, sir. Hey, guys, can you hear me? I can, sir. Just bear with me. Go ahead. I'm All just right. going to find a phone stand. The floor is yours. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, I was just going to call you about, like, do you brief me on what's going on with Josh lately? Because I frankly have, like, lost all interest in the guy since, like, he turned 30 because he became, like, a crybaby bitch for some reason. Like, more, more so than he always was. But, like, it's become more accentuated now. So, like, can you tell me what's going on? Sorry, I hope you weren't asking me a question whilst I was in the other room and couldn't hear anything. I hope you were just holding the fort and cutting a big monologue when you called me a faggot. But what was, what was your question, sir? No, oh, I said, um, can you tell me, can you brief me on what's going on, what's going on with like a Josh lately? Because like I've lost all interest <laughs> in the guy because he's he's become more of a crybaby bitch than he usually is. Well, I'll tell you what's happening with Josh, and I'll do it to some sounds. So, um, why not? Let's do this. What if you? Jush currently. Um, has had such an apocalypse of troons fall upon his website, upon his troll shield, that he no longer can get it indexed anywhere online. It had been de-indexed from Google and every other internet provider. Apparently it was still up on DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is where it was still up. Um, but Jush had felt the misery of all of the various people that he drank the blood of and used his website as a troll shield for that eventually we've come to the point where Liz Von Troon, Troon number 4006, can finally claim the win. 
of finally taking down Josh's side. Forever. It's tour only now. Just prior to it becoming tour only, a 13-year-old boy hacked the website and Josh paid him money to make it stop. So Josh, at the moment, if you want a current Robinson Live news alert on where Josh is, Josh is underneath the table in his apartment in the Siberian wilderness. His hands shaking, both out of trepidation of whether he should pull the trigger and out of sheer cold because he's fucking freezing and he can no longer afford the heating. Uh, no more coins will be minted with Chris Chan's face, and I'm afraid. New Project 2 is long over. And you know what? Had he kept Dick Masterson on side, I think Dick would have probably bailed him out like he has done Ralph all of this time. Unfortunately, Juice was such a faggot and he couldn't sweep it up effectively enough that he burned all of his bridges with anyone that could have legitimately bailed him out of this situation. So Josh currently is resting in piss. And I can't be happier. So that's his current situation on Josh, my friend. All right. Uh, that's good to hear. Um, Is it? One other question. Um, Go ahead, sir. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. So if, if you had to make an honest bet, like, I don't know, like a thousand pounds in your currency, I guess. Like, yes. Let's just say, like, what do you think is going to happen to Coach? You think he's going to get, like, the Wagner uh, sledgehammer treatment? Or he's going to get, like, raped on a pole like that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, was about I mean, I, I don't think Coach is going to be raped on a pole. Um, I, I somehow I, I don't I, although I do want to see the 4k drone footage of coach screaming no not the bees not the bees I do want to see that happen but I don't think we're going to have coach screaming not the bees yeah what I do think yeah. for real I think um, both up with each day that passes I do like a daily fucking sweep of Twitter and sort of find out where all of coaches Russian spy masters are posting and his current updates um, it looks like he is just being, he's in jail currently. He's in like a prison cell um, and they haven't completely executed him and cut his body off and set it on fire and given his head to Ukrainian villagers to play with in the street. It doesn't look like that's happened, but I haven't ruled out that possibility because literally there's that Troon posting all the fucking time about how she's going to take his head to Capitol Hill is what she's been saying. She's going to, she's literally said, I'll take his head to Capitol Hill. I don't know how that will happen, but I imagine Coach is literally here. This is where Coach is right now, my friend. I don't know if you can see this on the screen. There might be a bit of a lag, but this is where Coach is residing. And I probably do think he's going to serve at least 13 of those years that he's been forecasted. Um, yeah. I think um, this is where Coach is going to be. It's like, you were talking about how like everyone's talking about how like like they're pessimistic about, pessimistic about Coach. I, I think I'm pretty optimistic. Oh, like, man. You know, yes. Give spirit. me some hope. How is Coach going to slip her out of this one? You, you won't even spend a year. In time. You, won't, you won't do time for a year. That's all I want to say about that. But, I mean, would you do... T I mean, I certainly wouldn't even do 12 days, let alone 12 months in these conditions. Uh, do you think Coach will yeah, last? Or do you reckon Coach will just take yeah. to it like a cockroach to water? I don't think so. I think, honestly, like, I think... He's, uh, he's not dumb. Like, he has... He put, I know, like, he's like a boomer and retarded, but he, he knows money, at least, a little bit. So I think, like, he's going to use, like, his wife... Like his wife in like Amsterdam or wherever the fuck he like. His wife his, can't like, speak any like, word of English, let alone Russian or Ukrainian. Like his wife's about as effective as Mama JF would be in this circumstance. You know. Uh, I thought she was like a local. I didn't know that. No, no, <laughs> I, no, I, no. I don't no. pay attention to the guy that much. Free coach, free my husband, Gonzo. Is what they're going to be hearing down the other end of the phone. They're going to be like, what's the fuck this yeah, sentient potato screaming down the other end? He wanted to be spiritual yeah, leader. Spiritual leader. He wanted to rap me. Uh, so I, I don't think it's going to be... Uh, I think Coach is going to be peering out of these bars for the next 13 years, quite frankly. Yeah, he'd, he'd, he'd probably stick it out, honestly. If, as as it, as, assuming he doesn't get murdered, I guess. Well, this is it, and I, I see suspect number one. You know, I see suspect number one in Coach's murder trial. Um, yeah. Do you not think that Troon's going to just drink his blood? Um, honestly, I think she's... Well, they they're all talk. Frankly, like you know, like they're they're probably like in contact with like, the NAFO people. Like they're like in a feud with Coach where they were until he got arrested. It's like they're they're just talking shit. Like honestly, like I I really don't think Coach will spend that much time in prison. Like he's not going to stay for like thirteen years. That's my that's my realistic like. Opinion. Well, my my, my honest like, take is my honest take. He probably won't do that time in prison because he'll kill himself, Epstein style. Yeah, maybe. where it's where it's dubious. Okay, or. Um, he'll just be, he'll be beheaded or mysteriously go missing.
by this troon wearing I mean, the word fuck that, on its head. Isn't that like the the end of the arc we want? We want we want him to be like dismembered and like like like, like made playthings of children in like a Ukrainian village, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking tough. But I'm glad to hear a bit of optimism. I mean, you're the only caller that's ever called in to say that coach is gonna coach is gonna make it. Yeah, that's that's the goal. That's the end I want. But um, it, but he's probably gonna get like. Like, he's, he's not going to get... I want him to get dismembered, but he's probably going to get out somehow. That's basically it. Right. I mean, that was like right. that was like Disneyland optimism there. You want him to be dismembered, but he's probably going to get out somehow. That was, like, uplifting. I feel like I'm in... I know. Like, all he had to do was, like, just, get, just like, post the... Like, that one... Just post, like, the one, like, page of Microsoft Word of Wilshire Boulevard. Then I wouldn't hate I wouldn't hate him so much, but he he won't do it. <laughs> yeah, he won't do it. All right, my friend. Thanks for calling in. We'll go to our next caller. All right. See you. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Yep. You're welcome. Okay. So um, the lines are still open. By all means, call in. The floor is yours. The floor is yours, ladies and gentlemen. The lines are open, the set speaks tonight. We have an incoming call, let's find out who it is. Hello sir, you're on the air. Hello sir, you're on the air. Oh shit, I was muted. I just wanted to say... I hope my boy Shamu finds his bad baby OnlyFans leaks. And King of Pole lives at 909 West Oakland Avenue, Lansing, Michigan. Do you want to repeat that? Oh, oh I mean, he had a chance to repeat that with greater clarity where I said it with him. Um, so. <laughs> Big up for my bro Shamu! <laughs> All right. The floor is yours, folks. The floor is yours. The set to speaks. Nine oh nine Lansing, Michigan. Thanks, Elaine. The floor is yours. Call in. I mean, here's the number again. If not, I'm happy to cap this at ninety minutes. Bear in mind, the Kinodrome offer is still out there. As soon as those two parties, Shaggy and Surfer, come to light, we'll go live instantly and we'll do it properly. We'll settle the beef like men. Who will be king of the sewer rats? We'll decide. Fucking love ET. I'm grateful. So, um... It looks like there's no one wanting to call in. Maybe the sector's, sector's shut. So, I'm going to round us out. Just bear with me. For a moment of zen... It's our moment of zen. 